I don't really want to do this. And this is not the mindset that I have right now, but I'll take it away. Like, yeah, but this reminds me how I used to, like I used to be in similar place when I started. I always knew that I want to do like software development, but in the beginning, no one is just going to give you that job and teach you and train you on that job. It's not going to happen. You will have to do some kind of job on the side while you're trying to learn this and trying to get into the industry. And you will have to suck it up and just do some things that you don't want to do uh, as long as it takes. It's just, yeah. it is how it is. All right, so we, you already saw the intro. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get a coding job with no experience and what's actually the reality. So I'm gonna share a conversation I had with one of my students recently. And we are talking about this exact topic a lot of people online share how good the life is as a software developer and how easy it is to get this job. But a lot of them are lying to you. We're going to talk about how it actually is in reality. And especially if you are starting out with no experience at the beginning, it's just not going to be easy and you will have to suck it up. And also we're going to talk about why you are not in a bad place if you are in your 20s and you have a stable income already you're not in a bad place to learn a bit more improve your skill set and become a software developer i spent years in in a place like that working on some other job but on the side doing software development and you're not really happy about it <laughs> you're not excited but you have to do it because you have to do it um, there's yeah. not no way around it. Keeping like software engineer on the side, like I mean, I don't want to keep it on the side. It's like it is right now one of my priorities, but I'll manage to like keep it both like as well. Since like of course I'm gonna be probably joining this new job on March. Right now I have all of the time to like actually like just focus on this, which is my plan. Like the idea of me becoming a freelancer, for example, to like get experience at some point, like it is still on my plans. And like yeah, like I mean. I'll focus on my job, but like, I don't want to leave it on the side and like, well, like I said, there's no real way to go around it. And even like, I understand you want to focus on software development and you want to become a software developer, but it takes time to get to this level where you're reasonably good to work in the industry. This perfect situation that you could just like learn it and get a job and without doing anything else as your main thing. Like it's very unrealistic to me from my experience. Maybe some people can do that, take a boot camp, get a job. But from what I've heard, it's not really realistic. You usually in most cases, you do some kind of main thing to maintain your current lifestyle and you just learn on the side. And the difficult part is that in the beginning you think, okay, I, I'm gonna take this course, I'm gonna learn this, whatever. I'm gonna do this course, get this information, and then I'm gonna get the job. But that's not the reality. The reality is that you do the course, you get the information, but you still need to practice. You still need to become good enough to be hireable, mm -hmm. to be employable by someone, to actually deliver some kind of value. And this, this place, it depends for each person. It's different for each person. I could give you all the information. I could see that you're able to use this information. You're able to build things, but you could still struggle to kind of find this opportunity. And this is normal. You should be expecting things to be hard in software development because that's how it is. You're not going to take a course and get a job instantly after that. You have to practice all the knowledge and practice takes time, but practice also makes you good. And at some point, if you'll do that, you will become good enough. And this is exactly what I'm helping with. If you want me to help you out to get a coding job as soon as possible, to give you feedback and give you the exact steps that you need to take to get a coding job as soon as possible, send me a message. You can find my contact details below this video and you can send me an email 
and if I will see a potential in you, we might work together. It really depends on many things. It's not just like, it's not like an easy job uh, to get because you have to be very smart and you have to sell yourself and prove to someone that you are smart enough to get this job. And that's the difficult part. And a lot of people don't get this context and they give up too early. But it's not that you're like a bad person or you're dumb or something like that. It's just that you didn't maybe invest enough time or maybe you didn't land on the right opportunities. You just needed to spend a bit more time into that. And something at some point will give you opportunities, but you have to be prepared and you have to work on these skills and keep maintaining them and improving over time. And that's the difficult part. That's the reality. That's the difficult part because you, me, everyone wants to do things instantly, but it's not going to happen instantly. Yeah, I'll just have to suck it up. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to be mentalized for that. You're not really in a bad position. No. <laughs> like, a lot of people have way worse problems than you have. You're in a good position. You have a stable, like, job, stable income. You can learn on the side. That's all you need. And now you just need to have patience and discipline to keep on going and not give up. That's it. 